I like to move it, move it, move it, move it. Do you like to move it, move it? Sure you do. In every episode of the Friends of Rupert Show, we talk about energy in one way or another. Sometimes lots of different ways. And today we're talking about tools of the craft. In every ritual or spell we do, we raise energy to help our work work. So how do we raise energy? Lots of different ways. We chant, we drum, we focus our attention, we sing, we um, all kinds of different ways. But we don't often talk about using movement as a tool to raise energy. Well, now we are, right here and right now. And what better way is there to raise energy? So go ahead and stand up and see if you can keep up with me. Are you ready? We can chant, chant, chant all day long. We can um and sing a song. But I like to move it, move it, raise energy. Move it, move it, for you and me. Move it, move it, move your arms. Move it, move it, to charge a charm. Move it, move it, like wind in air. Push it, push it, way up there. Move it, move it, your legs and feet. Move it, move it, stomp out a beat. Move it, move it, clap your hands. Move it, move it, and move it, move it, raise energy. Move it, move it, for you and me. Move it, move it, to cast a spell. Move it, move it, and do it well. Move it, move it, like flames so high. Move it, move it, up to the sky. Move it, move it, left and right. Move it, move it, you're out of sight. Move it, move it, clap your hands. Move it, move it, and move it, move it, raise energy. Move it, move it, for you and me. Move it, move it, to say a prayer. Move it, move it, if you dare. Move it, move it, like water now. Move it, move it, you know how. Splash, splash, splash. Now you know just how well movement works in raising energy. Of course, every ritual or spell has a purpose or a reason why you're doing it. So this kind of movement may not be the kind of movement you want to use all the time because it might be too silly or a little too energetic for some rituals or spells. And you have to bear in mind that not everyone can move around quite so much. Some may not be able to touch the ground or get out of their chairs to join in the fun. So you have to keep those things in mind. So the next time you and your folks are creating a ritual or a spell, think about including some kind of movement in raising the energy for the spell or ritual you're doing. Whether you're holding hands and walking around the circle together, or clapping hands, or whether you're rocking out. Movement can add a fabulous kind of energy to your ritual or spell. So remember to move it, move it, 